we have made it to the maze stone. We're gonna hike up this road and show it to you here in just a moment. But we are in Riverside County. We are just west of Hemet, California, about 11 miles from our home. This area is called Reinhardt Canyon. Let's get going. Watch for snakes. I think it's just about a quarter of a mile up this hill. Yeah. Did you know that this is a, a historical landmark in the state of California? Lizard. Hysterical? It's a hysterical landmark. It's number 557. Thanks, he knows your stuff. That's uh, San Gregorio Mountain off in the distance. Big Bear is just on the other side of that mountain. Still has a little bit of snow on it. Oh. There was another little lizard next to it. Yeah, he's laying flat though. I haven't seen a horny toad in many years. Do you think I can catch him? Huh? Do you think I can catch him? Yeah. He doesn't have teeth. He, he won't bite you hard. Oh. Oh, he's gonna go. That's okay. I'm not afraid of him. I just don't want to hurt him. Yeah, he took off. Yeah. He was so cool, honey. Yeah. him sooner. Starting to huff? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as hot as I thought it would be, but... I no, it's only about 80 degrees. I do forget sometimes there, this is a little bit steep. It's a little bit steep. It's allergy season for me. Yeah. But I can actually see the fencing. Wow. We're a little more than halfway. Nice view of the valley below. Yeah. Hills are still green. Yeah. All right, if you can see the fencing off in the distance, they've fenced it in to protect it. Too much so why this road is still here in the 50s, this actually was a park up here. And you could drive and up here and park and it was a county park. a farmer was working on his land and he discovered a rock with this very interesting carving on it. He'd never seen anything like it before. They ended up calling out some archaeologists that came out and they surveyed the rock, did some research, looked into it, and they determined that it was at least 500 years old, but it could have even been older. From 1914. From 1914. So it's almost at least 600 years old from now. Yes, which is really cool. And then in 1956, Mr. and Mrs. Miller actually donated this rock along with almost six acres to the county of Riverside, which is how this then became a hysterical landmark. <laughs> hysterical landmark. <laughs> All right, we'll get up closer in a minute. Wow, look at the view that way. Beautiful. All 
right, you want to walk over to it? Yeah, let's check it out. Watch for snakes. Okay. Oh, there was a quail. There was people just here too making noise, so. So this is a called a prehistoric petroglyph. A petroglyph is a carving into rock or stone, and that is how it was done before there was any form of writing or anything like that. This was how they communicated, and it's a form of art. So they have it double chain link fenced in with double barbed wire on each chain link fence to deter you people from going in there. It says this pictograph. Let's see if I can get up there. That's a decent, more decent shot you want me to the read maze. it? Okay. This pictograph representing a maze is an outstanding example of the work of prehistoric people. It, with 5.75 acres of land, was donated to Riverside County as county park on, as a county park on April 16, 1956 by Mr. and Mrs. Roger E. Miller. Registered landmark number 557. Plaque placed by California State Park Committee in cooperation with Riverside County Board of Supervisors and Hemet Woman's Club, February 9th, 1957. Wow. I'm just glad we picked an 80 degree day to come up here, not a <laughs> Hundred degree day to come up here. <laughs> yeah, we have come up here definitely on hotter days before. Yeah, yeah. This is perfect, honey. Perfect. Well, you see that? I'll show them. You see this hill? I'll get away from the fence. The hill up there, Lisa's Lisa's climbed all the way up there before. There's actually a road up there and just out of sight, there's houses on the other side of the, that ridge that overlook Lake Paris. They probably have a beautiful view. Out in the boonies. We hit the main trail and go back down. Yeah, right here. Or just keep going up. This is the main trail right here. So this is what takes you up, and it curves. It. You can either go that direction up or that direction up, and this takes you back to the main road. Yeah, look, the road used to be paved up here too. Yeah. Somewhere up here, it was probably level enough over there or something to put in a parking lot at one time. Yeah. Oh, hi, butterfly. It was tiny, but it was sure pretty. Hey, the moon's coming up. Or the moon's actually up. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right, you getting hungry? A little bit, yeah. Get a movie. Yeah, head to the campground. Get some food, head to the campground. See how the baby geese are doing today? Yeah, wait. <laughs> it's so beautiful with all the rain we've had. This is the most wildflowers I've ever seen up here before. I mean, there's always just bushes and stuff, but to have... Where are these, like, wild daisies or yeah, something? Yeah, they're like miniature sunflowers or little oh, yellow yeah. daisies. They're, probably, they're miniature sunflowers, you're right. They're... For I mean, sure. If you look out, that's all you can see. We've never seen flowers. So yeah, this area normally gets about eight inches of rain a year, and this year it had about 22 inches of rain. That's that's a big difference. Yeah, that's great. 
kills your nose, I know, but it sure is beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Who needs to breathe? Right? <laughs> They could play a lot of duck, duck, goose around here. <laughs> All right. These are old. This says. Yeah, it we says were men old. They're old. Men old. Through May 1st. But because there are still stay at home orders in place in the state of California, we've gone from May 1st. Bam! To May 15th, we got extended, baby. We got an extension. So that's so great because, oh, did you see those babies in the water? It's so great. They're way far away. Oh, they're so cute though. So great because we still get to come here. And tonight we chose McDonald's. And we've got a movie. Our movie is called Hell on the Border. We'll let you know how it is. Yep. Yeah. It's a western. Yeah! Let's do this. Alrighty. Alright, everybody. We finished watching the Red Box smash hit, Hell on the Border. Do you have to bleep that word out? Oh. Bleep on the border. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just can't help it. This was a really good movie. Action packed. It had a great storyline and I absolutely highly recommend it to you. So if you're looking for a rental, check this one out. We had a really fun time. We had a good hike to the Maze Stone. We had some good dinner and a good movie. And we're gonna end this video here. So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.